Hello, in this video I am going to tell you to solve LPP problem by the method called the BGAM method. I have made some small small videos to solve the problem because it's not possible or it's very difficult to make the whole video in one go because of the limitations of the mobile phone. So let's start with the technique in the next video. Good morning. Take the solution of the tutorial one, the problem which I gave you on yesterday. So our main function was maximize z for reaction plus x2 minus 0 s2 0 s3 plus ma1. So in equal type you have to put one artificial variable that is a1 in greater than type minus s2 and is less than type plus s3. Now put this x1 x2 is equal to 0 so that we get these things but s2 is negative see so we have to add another artificial variable to this constraint so suppose that is a4 here and other two will remain same okay so now again you put x1 x2 s2 is equal to 0 why x1 x2 and s2 is equal to 0 so that you will get the value of a1 the value of a4 and the value of s3 so putting x1 x2 is equal to 0 and s2 is equal to 0 in all the three equation you will get this values okay next move on to table 1 okay for that i will make another video okay now if you look at in table 1 cj this table is similar to simplex table cj in this row you have to write all the coefficients of x1 x2 s1 s2 a1 a2 from your modified z function see here it is 4 1 0 0 m m okay the same thing i have written here okay in basis you have to write a1 a4 and s3 the no s1 no s2 okay because you have the value of a1 a4 and s3 so in your basis you have to write these things okay and similarly you have to write the coefficients of those okay now complete this row by following this constraint see coefficient of x1 is 3 coefficient of x2 is 1 coefficient of a1 is 1 so 3 1 other things are 0 1 and 0 okay and the b value is that is 3 similarly i have completed this table and this table okay now find your zz zz you know how to find out this into this plus this into this plus this into this so ultimately we have got zz then find cj minus zz cj minus zz is your 4 minus 7m so 4 minus 7m 1 minus 4m so like that so now you have to find the minimum of that okay so minimum of that is your 4 minus 7m <coughs> okay so 4 minus 7m now this is your key column now you have to find the key row for key row you have to divide its b column by its corresponding key column element so 3 divided by 3 1 6 divided by 4 3 by 2 3 divided by 1 3 so minimum of this is 1 so this will be your key row so this is your key column this is your key row this is your pivot okay so you have got your key column and key row okay now in this key row a1 is there and in this key column x1 is there so x1 will be your entering variable and a1 in be your living variable remember a1 will be your living variable okay and how to find this fr that is fixed ratio this fr is nothing but you have to divide its element by its keyword pivot point 4 by 3 so 4 by 3 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 okay move on to the next table okay in table 2 the cj row will be same okay only see x1 has come here here it was a1 now it is x1 and also one more important thing that since a1 was living variable in this table so i have deleted this a1 column from here also see there is no a1 x1 is there x2 s2 s3 and a4 so my aim is to delete that particular column which is the living variable okay so finally you have got this thing now this tree you have to make it one because this is the pivot so i have make it one how 
divided by 1 by 3. So everything you have to divide it by 1 by 3. So 1 divided by 3, 1 by 3, 0 divided by 3, 0. Similarly, okay, mind it, this a1 is not here. Okay, now you have to make this 0. This key column element, other than pivot, you have to make it 0 in the next table. So now the role of this fixed issue will come into play. How, what you have to do? You have to do like that. 4 minus, listen carefully, 4 minus 4 by 3 into 3. That is your 0. Similarly, 3 minus 4 by 3 into 1. 3 minus 4 by 3, 1. There is 5 by 3 is coming. So, ultimately what is I am going to tell? That this minus this into this. This minus this into this. Similarly, I have completed this table, this table. Find ZJ and CJ minus ZJ. Find key row, minimum of that key column. And key row, minimum of that. Get the pivot point. And similarly, you get the fixed ratio here also. How? 1 by 3 divided by 5 by 3. Ultimately, 1 by 5. Okay, move on to the next table. This table is the continuation of the previous table only. So, in the previous table, if you look at there a2 will be leaving variable and x2 will be the entering variable so in place of a2 i have written x2 x1 is there in the previous table 2 okay now a2 column is not there that is deleted because it was leaving variable the similar thing only so 4 1 0 0 x1 x2 s2 s3 b okay then coefficient of x1 coefficient of x2 coefficient of s3 similarly you do all the calculation make the pivot point 1 and other than the pivot point all you have to make it 0 so earlier <coughs> this was our pivot point so we have to make it 1 and other towards 0 find zj cj minus zj this is your optimal solution because all cj minus zj are less than negative so solution is this and this answer